Now, Zimbabwean opposition leader Morgan Changirai, known for his dogged quest to end the regime of former President Robert Mugabe, has died just a month after Mugabe caved to pressure to step down after decades in power. His life's mission took its toll. Changirai, who was 65, succumbed after a long battle with cancer. With more, here is VOA's Anita Powell in Johannesburg. Even in his final months, Morgan Shangarai did not slow down in his life's mission to bring political change to Zimbabwe. That in the interest of the people of Zimbabwe, Mr. Robert Mugabe must resign, step down immediately in line with the national sentiment and expectation. He got his wish shortly before his death. In late 2017, Mugabe resigned after 38 years as president. His right-hand man, Emerson Mnangagwa, was sworn in to replace him. Changarai never got to lead his movement for democratic change to victory, but his supporters say his efforts were what mattered. Morgan Changarai uh, is the first man to actually uh, have the bravery to stand against Mugabe and uh, bring about the results. Changarai challenged Mugabe time and time again, contesting Mugabe's quest for the presidency in 2002, 2008, and 2013 elections marked with repression, violence, and irregularities. He spent nearly as much time on the campaign trail as he did in jail for an assortment of politically motivated trials and arrests. He also tried to make peace with the longtime leader, joining a government of national unity and serving as prime minister from 2009 to 2013. That move was met with mixed public reaction, and the coalition eventually fell apart. He will be remembered most for his tenacity, says analyst Gideon Chitanga. He did not flinch, he did not uh, betray the struggle for democracy, he did not um, surrender. He, he even sacrificed his victory in 2008 to try and accommodate the military regime in Zimbabwe, he fronted by Robert Mugabe as a way of facilitating a smooth transition to democracy. He, the challenges of that uh, period we can discuss about but I think that um, he is probably one of the greatest statesmen Zimbabwe has ever produced. He'd been fighting colon cancer since 2016. But in his own way, in the end, he won the bigger fight that kept him going for so long, seeing the end of the Mugabe regime. Anita Powell, VOA News, Johannesburg. For more on the passing of uh, Morgan Changirai and the future of the movement for Democratic Change Party, I am joined by VOA Zimbabwe reporter Blessing Zulu. Blessing, welcome to Africa. Thank 54. you so much. Uh, the pleasure is mine. So Changirai is dead. What is the general sentiment here? Uh, I think it's a very sad moment uh, mm. for Zimbabweans. Uh, you know, we have been through a lot under the leadership of former President uh, Robert uh, Mugabe, political killings, uh, instability, uh, the economy headed south. Uh, so it was uh, the hope of many Zimbabweans that uh, after uh, Mr. Mugabe uh, left office after uh, a military coup, uh, probably uh, Mr. Trangirai was going to take over or at least uh, there was going to be real democracy. But now uh, the nation is in mourning. How do people in general, the average person in Zimbabwe, see Changirai's legacy? Uh, I think they see Changirai as a unifier and mm. also as uh, one of them. Remember, uh, he rose uh, through the uh, trade union uh, ranks at one time. He actually worked as a sweeper uh, in a factory. Uh, he was the secretary general of the Zimbabwe Congress of Trade Unions uh, before becoming a, a politician. So he was actually one with the majority of uh, Zimbabweans. Uh, you can call him a man of the people. Now, what is the future of the MDC now that he's gone? He was such an essential figure, not only for the MDC, mm -hmm. but also for the opposition as a whole in the country. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, at the time of his death, he was trying to uh, bring together a coalition. He called it the MDC Alliance. Uh, they had about uh, seven uh, opposition political parties, and they were still uh, trying to bring uh, in the fold uh, many uh, opposition uh, political parties. But uh, with his death, uh, I think it's all is not well in the MDC. Uh, there are about uh, three factions. You know, he had uh, three uh, vice presidents, and they are all uh, fighting for power. So the future for his party is not uh, very certain. Now, with Mugabe gone and Changirai dead, 
Are we witnessing a new era in Zimbabwe politics? Yeah, it might be a new uh, era in Zimbabwe's politics because uh, since uh, 2002, this is the first time that you are seeing Mugabe and Shangrai uh, not uh, on, the, on the ballot. Okay, now finally, quickly, uh, do we have, her, her, have you heard anything about his funeral? Will he be given state funeral? Uh, I talked to his uh, son, his uh, firstborn son, Edwin, who is in mm -hmm. South Africa. He's saying that uh, the uh, government has uh, assured the family that uh, uh, they are going to uh, give him a state-assisted funeral. I also talked to the uh, President uh, Emerson Mnangagwa spokesperson, George Charamba, he confirmed that the state will actually assist the, the family in his uh, burial. But uh, his body uh, is still in South Africa where he passed on uh, yesterday and they hope uh, the body will be flown to Zimbabwe uh, this Saturday or Sunday. Uh, the burial arrangements, uh, the family is still meeting. Okay, blessings. Thanks so much for the insights. Thank you. And that was VOA Zimbabwe reporter, Blessing Zulu. And Changirai was arguably Zimbabwe's most popular politician. The mining union leader's career was ultimately defined by his battles, both literal and figurative, with 93-year-old Robert Mugabe, who resigned after a de facto coup in December. Zimbabweans reacted to the death of opposition leader Morgan Changirai, saying it was a great loss to the country. The demise of um, uh, Dr. Morgan Changirai uh, the MDC leader and former Prime Minister of the Republic of Zimbabwe is a sad occasion for the people of Zimbabwe. It's a huge loss to the people of Zimbabwe. The nation has lost an icon. We have lost as a party. We have lost our father. We have lost our leader. We have uh, lost... Oh my God, I can't even express myself.